Hello, this is Vince Painter with another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on E1, convert between standard and scientific notation. So in this IXL module, we're going to be doing a lot of counting the decimal. All right, before we get started, um, first tip, if you ever need help, feel free to use the learn with an example button. So if I click learn with an example, it's going to ask, well, how do you write 7.5 times 10 to the third power in standard form? Well, the key idea here is the power of 10 tells you how many places to the right to move the decimal. So again, counting and moving the decimal place over. So the solution here is you want to move the decimal point three places to the right and write extra zeros to the right of the decimal point. Remember that writing extra zeros to the right of a decimal does not change its value. So for an example, if you have a dollar, like one or 1.000, it's still a dollar, right? All right, back to practice. Example number two, let's say um, you still don't get it, right? If you, again, you have a smart score of zero, one trick you can do is get it wrong on purpose. Notice that my score is still zero, but now I get yet another tutorial on how to do it. So, so many ways to get help as needed. And last but not least, watching a built-in video on IXL would also be helpful. All right, but I'm sure you're watching the video because you want to see me get up to 80 in a timely matter. All right, so here we go. How do you write uh, 9,600 in scientific notation? Now, if you don't like how I said that 9,600, you can say 9,600 if you want, but the brief way is 9,600. All right, so 9,600. So the goal here is you want the decimal one place from the left because 9,600 has a decimal at the end right here. You had to count one, two, three times to the left. So that's what we're going to need to do. So we're going to go ahead and go with 9.6 times 10. Count again. One, two, oh, three times will get us back to 9,600. Didn't quite get it. Well, we're going to do a lot more. So it's all good. All right. Uh, now we're going to standard form. So we got 2.34. Now the key here is to count the decimal to the right two times. So one and two. Well, look at how nice that came out. So we got 234. So again, just counting the exponent is going to help you out. So 234 here. All right, next up, we got 2.7. We want standard form, and we're going to count to the right four times. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to add the zeros to the missing place. So now we have 27000. Zero, zero, zero. And to me, this is 27,000. 27,000. So two, seven, one, two, three, we'll complete 2.7 times 10 to the fourth power. So right now we're just a matter of going back and forth, right? All right, next up, we got 6.5, um, and we need to move the decimal five times to the right. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. So add the zeros. And that to me looks like 650,000 in standard form. 650,000 in standard form. So 650, oh, one, two, three more. We'll complete that one. All right, next up, we got 6.60. And the decimal needs to be moved over one place to the right. So then we got here. So to me, it looks like 66. Hmm. Root 66. Not bad. That was an easy one. 
All right, now watch this one here. Notice that we're at a smart score of 43 and they're giving us a really small scientific notation. Usually we, they're giving us really large scientific notation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about the direction we move the decimal. So in this case, we're moving the decimal here, one, two, three places for the scientific notation. So because we're trying to get a small number, we're gonna use a negative exponent of three. And we always want one number to the left of the decimal. So the correct answer here is nine times 10 to the negative three. Why? The nine is the nine there. And we had to count one, two, three places to the right to get that decimal there. So negative three to get it there. All right, same thing here. We have a really small number. We have like 19 pennies is what I call it. We need one number to the left of the decimal. So we just need to move it over to the right one time. So what we have here is 1.9 times 10, and we move the decimal over one place. Now, if you notice my answer is still wrong because again, we have a really small number. So what I need is a negative right here. All right, next up, uh, now we're gonna go larger. So we got 4.0 times 10 to the second. So 4.0, and we're gonna count two places to the right, one and two, and I got 400. So it looks like 400 to me. All right, so one and 400. One, four, and two zeros. All right, numbers are getting just slightly larger. Um, so we got 5,500, or you can call it 5,500. It's up to you, but they're the same thing. So we got, um, the decimal needs to go between the two fives. Notice if there's no decimal, and by the way, that is a comma, not a decimal. The decimal is automatically on the far right if there is not a decimal already there for you. So now we need to go to the left one, two, and three times. All right. So because I went to the left three times, it's going to give us 5.5 .5 times 10. And again, we went three times. So that's going to be to the third power. All right. So here we go. 5.5 .5 times 10 to the third power there. All right, next up we have 3.35, and we're moving the decimal five times. So 3.35, decimal is gonna go five times. We got one, two, three, four, five. Fill in with zeros. And now the decimal's on the far right. So when the decimal's on the far right, you usually drop the decimal. And in this case, we're gonna call it 335,000 for our number. So let's go ahead and put in 335,000. So one, two, and three. And of course, notice I'm taking my time. Yeah, we're at seven minutes. Plus I went over the example and got what problem wrong at the beginning. So we're doing really good on time. So we're not rushing through it. But when you start rushing, that's when you miss problems and you do more problems than you have to. And you don't want to do that. All right, so 9.6, follow this one, um, the decimal of a negative five. Now they're being kind of sneaky. Smart score of 68, they want a negative five. Negative five, we are going to count to the left this time. So negative five, count to the left. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, and fill in with zero. So the decimal is here. One, two, three, and four zeros there. So we do need to put the decimal in our answer. So we got 0 0.1234969. for standard form. So whenever you see a negative for your standard form going to sci uh, from scientific notation, it should be a rather small number. It should be like, I call it like under one. Okay, we're in the 70s. 
so far pretty good it's not getting too much harder so i got 2.25 times 10 to the negative 2 watch that decimal because it's going to go to the left again do the exponent be a negative so here we go decimals here it's one and two and we're going to fill in a zero right in front there so i have point zero two two five for my enter there Okay, next, um, how do you write 1.96 uh, in scientific notation? Mm, that looks good, because the decimal is one place to the right, so that's kind of tricky. So we're going to try something. Let's match it. One point, uh, hold on, hold on. So 1.916. And because we don't need to move the decimal, I'm going to say zero times. Don't go left and don't go right. And let's see what happens. So again, we already have one whole number to the left of the decimal. That looks fine. We're not moving the decimal. So I'm saying zero. Don't move it left. Don't move it right. And let's see if it takes it. And it didn't. So let's find out what we did wrong. All right. Um, I answered that. So. Hmm. Oh, how lovely. I put a two instead of a one. So I had the right idea. But see, I went a little bit too fast. I put the one and I put a two instead of the six. I was like, my, my X ones was perfect. All right. So we fall back a little bit, but it's okay. All right. Any scientific notation? I want a decimal between the eight and the zero. So I do need to move the decimal over one place to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and write 8 times 10. And we did move it to the left one time. So bum, bum, bum. catching right back up again. So we have 3.5 in standard form. So 3.503. Okay, negative 8. Negative 8. Watch it. We count them left eight times i should give myself more room here we go we'll make it work one two three four five six seven and eight so i got decimals right here one two three four five six seven zeros three five zero three so this one this is one that you copy down carefully because this one will mess you up so one two three four five six seven three five zero the three that was a good problem by the way all right next up i have 4.5 decimal we are counting four places and that's going to be to the right one two three and four i'm getting forty five thousand. 45,000. So 45, 1, 2, 3. All right, looks like I need one more problem and I'll have my smart score of 80. So decimal uh, is going to go to the right because I got a positive 5, so 7.4. And 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four zeros. And it's a standard form, so we're just going to write the whole thing down. We're going to write 740,000. So 740,000. One, two, three. And that should do it. That should take us up to a smart score of 82. And besides that, notice the problems don't get too much harder. So if you want to get extra credit, keep going a little bit higher. And besides that, have an amazing day.